Retrobit Games recently released its Toa Plan Shoot 'em Up series for the Sega Genesis, and I wanted to do a quick video showing you what's inside the box and give you some impressions on the quality of the product. You had the option of buying four classic Toa Plan shooters, either individually or in one special collector's edition case that included them all. There was Truxton, Hellfire, Fire Shark, and Zero Wing, the latter of which was never released in the United States. Opening up the box, you were met with some beautifully embossed slipcovers for each game. Seriously, I love the look of these and the art is really nice. The box art itself is faithful to the original releases and looks great as well. Each one is printed on glossy paper that has the look and feel of the original releases. Although these are properly licensed games, Sega was not involved so the classic Sega logo and seal of approvals are missing. On the plus side, however, you get reversible cover art for those of you that love wondrous variety. Each game comes on a nice looking translucent cartridge with a foil label. Again, it looks great and the only negative is the lack of the usual Sega licensing on the originals. The included full color manual is very nice with the color and accuracy you'd expect from a high end release. Each game also comes with a sticker sheet that uses some of the sprite work from each game, as well as a packet of extras that include a certificate of authenticity, an interview with composer Masahiro Yuge, and a collector's card. I really appreciate the care and quality put into these, and it goes well beyond some cheap reproduction and feels much more like something that would be released today if the Genesis were still available at retail. Nothing feels off and it's clear the people involved genuinely cared for the product and license. As game collecting matures and prices go up, this is likely the future of the hobby, and it's nice to see these types of releases being kept alive by companies that care. For those of you interested, I also took apart the cartridge casing and had a look at the PCB that Retrobit used in these. This here is my original Mega Drive release of Tetsujin, which is Truxton in the United States. It has a nice beveled PCB, gold contacts, and smooth rounded edges. You'll be happy to know that the re-releases use a quality PCB as well. Again, a nice smooth beveled edge is on each and every game and it also has the nice rounded off corners. It's a great touch that goes the extra mile to give you a quality product. If you've seen some of the cheap Chinese knockoffs out there, you know PCBs can be janky, cheap as hell, and not so great for your hardware. I tested all four of these games on the original Genesis as well as my Mega SG and was happy with the results. I tested a few stages in each one and had no problems at all. Each one fired up the first time every time. You'll notice a few new touches on the title screen of each game as these are officially licensed products. They now reflect these new releases with updated information. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with this release and I'm happy to see Genesis and Mega Drive games get some reissue love. Most of the time you see this stuff, it's for Nintendo systems, so perhaps we'll get more in the future. I'd love to see a similar 4-pack from someone like Namco with the Splatterhouse and Rolling Thunder games, for instance. The quality is definitely there for me to consider future releases a lot more strongly. And I'm happy to see Retrobit Games taking this seriously and not just looking for a quick profit on a cheap and unworthy product. I also appreciate the way they handled pre-orders. Instead of letting them sell out to scalpers in a few seconds, they ran a period of open pre-orders that allowed anyone that wanted these to get them easily. It's the way all pre-orders should be handled in my opinion, and a credit to the community that they realize that. If you like what you see here, Retrobit Games has a new release coming up you can pre-order right now. The once Super Famicom Home exclusive Undercover Cops is now in the open pre-order stage and can be secured at various retailers. It comes with a bunch of extras, an official English translation and a choice of cartridge styles. 
I'll drop a few links in the description for those of you interested. I'm SigaLordX, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.